How's it going guys? Electron Man. I had a customer come over and drop me off this uh, older Intel computer. Uh, said that it, it's, it's his wife and it quit working and that uh, he, he thought it was a power supply so he went and uh, bought a new power supply, put it in and it's still not working. So that's kind of where we're at now. Um, I have got the side case off here now. If you, if you can tell. It's not a, nothing no fancy. Uh, two stick RAM, two sticks of RAM. Uh, looks like the only extra card it's got is a is a network card, and uh, I'm not sure what Intel speed this is, but it's, it's an older Intel chip. But anyway, uh, first thing I think I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, as you can see, I've already disconnected a bunch of cables. Is I'm going to go ahead and I've got a unknown good power supply here, and uh, just to make sure that you know maybe the power supply bot was the problem, I'm going to go ahead and just hook up uh, hook this guy up. Uh, not all the way, just just enough to uh, test the motherboard. So what I'll do here is uh, just plug the motherboard in. I'm not going to plug in any peripherals in or anything, just to see if I can get it to post. And that'll kind of give me an answer about whether it has anything to do with the power supply. Do we get any posting now? Nothing. Yeah, it's not posting anything. Okay, well. So it's not his power supply. Probably wasn't anything wrong with the one he pulled out of here then, tells me, more than likely. Would be my guess. He said it was kind of in a hot area, so hopefully we didn't. Uh... Always handy to have one of these laying around, just a known good one that you have. I came around, I think this was an upgrade one. So that was like a Dell or something, but it's a it's a good power supply. It was in handy for testing. I don't know why I keep it in a box. I guess it's to keep it organized. But anyway, let's do that. Let me go ahead and pop this memory out of here. Which I don't know if many of you do mention that, but just it's these little tabs on the sides. Just hit those little tabs. Push those tabs outward, and there it comes out to memory. And what I'm gonna do? Let's see if I can find me an eraser. Just, you'd be surprised you wouldn't think this would do the trick but just taking uh, take you a good old pencil racer and just run over the the uh, gold contacts here the pins make sure and kind of touch the case or something too you don't want any static discharge uh, these are electronic sensitive but I always if you notice I'm touching this case here so I make sure I'm not building any static up but you just don't want to be walking around rubbing your feet on a carpet and come pick it up and then blow your chip up and we'll go ahead and clean these and see if that makes any difference I'm kind of pessimistic on this one I got a feeling it just got overheat and it's probably toast motherboard memory's probably fine Peripherals are probably fine. I'm sure the uh, power supply, etc. I mean, or uh, hard drive, that stuff is probably just fine. But your most heat sensitive components are going to be on your motherboard. And then now, if I notice, I just it's got a little slot there. I make sure and line that slot up, and then you just take your thumbs and you just push evenly in. When you hear that pop, you know you got her back in there good. And we'll just do the same on the second one here. It's lining up in those little tabs on each side. There and there. And then just take your thumbs and push even. And you hear that nice little snap. We know we got her set in there good. So we've cleaned and reseated the memory. Let me pull her back up here hook his power supply back in here since we now know that wasn't the problem. We'll go back to the one that was in here. 
which is the 24 pin plug and the 4 pin plug on this particular motherboard, the Intel board. The, uh, this one here, 24 pin and a 4 pin, which are right beside each other on this one. But those are the two that actually do all the power to the motherboard. You should be able to post with just those two hooked up. Posting means it'll come into BIOS to where you can set your settings. Uh, let's see if that makes any difference. I don't think it's got a speaker, so I'm probably not going to hear any tones, but uh, let's give that a drum roll. Come on, baby. Do the trick. Do the trick. Wah, wah. Yeah. Yeah, we got nothing. <whistles> Hitch tells me it's more than likely the motherboard. Really, there ain't a whole lot else I can test. It's got an integrated video card in it. If I can't even get it to post, uh, I can do one thing. I can uh, I can reset the BIOS. Let's see here. Just for grins. I can find the BIOS. There, the little green one. Let me uh, pull this little pin here. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to, for you to see this, but right down in there, see that little green right there? That guy, I just pulled him. And then I'm going to move him over to the other one, other two. And typically, that's how you need to do. Hit on um, just to make sure discharge any power that was in it, and then all we got to do is unplug it. If you're getting a good view of that or not, put it back on the, the far two where it was to start with. Okay, we've now uh, reset the BIOS. I don't know that's going to make any difference, but as a last ditch effort, it's worth a try. Okay. I'm just looking at a monitor up here is what I'm looking at. See if it we got any posting or anything. Eh, not. Nah. Yeah, he's gonna bum to hear that. I mean I guess I could try some different memory, but you well, know, why not? Before I give up total hope on it. If I've got some. That's the key. Go ahead and pop this memory out of here. Usually it's not the memory though, but and I cleaned it. What is this anyway? This is KVR sixty six. Wow. So this is like DDR RAM. One, I think version one. Let's see here what I got. I got any RAM chips that'll work for that. Getting my little stash of RAM chips here. Been doing repair on computers for years, so you end up collecting a few things. But we got a few chips laying around here. What's this in this envelope? Crucial. Good memory, but not the right ones. Don't believe. Yeah, this is the like the 168 pin, I think. So that's uh, you gotta obviously match it up. Let's see here. Looks like I got a lot of that. The older, older memory, not the the DDR, the first stuff.
See, and then this one has two slots. So it's even more different. Oh, there's something here. That's laptop memory. Got memory. PC six, whatever that is, whatever that is. We're gonna look. Hey, 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 hey! Looks like I might have a, a winner here. Winner chicken dinner. And I got one piece, one stick. Another stick. Wow, that's all I had of. Of that type memory or that DDR type. I can't remember what exactly they call it. PC 133, something like that. I can't remember. I do have a couple sticks of it though. Don't know what the size of it is. PC 2, yep. Yeah. Which it is the right memory. Uh, okay. Just for grins and wet giggles. I think you only need one stick in there too, but anyway, let's go ahead and drop it. Go ahead and drop some memory, some other memory in here just to see if it makes any difference. Well, I need to open the garage door and let some of that cool air to, from outside in. Yeah, let's just try one chip to start with. Just see if that makes any difference. Ah, <sighs> nope. Surprise, surprise. Add the second one. Just because I got two of them. I'm pretty sure it only takes one, but. Okay, now we got two in there. Let's see if that makes any difference. Come on, post. Post, post, boop. It posted, I'll be damned. But now I'm blown away. Apparently it was the memory. Whoa. You just never know, do you? Tried one stick, go to the second stick, sure, and behold, if it doesn't work like a charm. I just, I'm wondering if I'm cheating him out of memory. I don't know what, how much memory this was. Sure looks like she's gonna come up though. I'll be damned, well. You just never know. So, I got... Obviously, one of these chips is bad, or not both. Apparently, it takes a pair to run them. Hopefully, they're the same. I don't know what he had in there. I have to, I have to go and look and see. But, uh... As you can see, let me pull it around here. I got this little screen here that I use for on my test bench. But, uh... As you can see, we're up in an administrator now, so we're uh, we're back up. I don't even have uh, all the peripherals hooked up. Back. I need to hook them all back up. I don't have the floppy driver to see you around hooked up or nothing, but uh, I really wasn't expecting that to fix it. But uh, yeah, it was the memory chips. Even cleaning them and everything. Uh, simple, uh, one of them was bad. 
you just never know. I hate it when it won't post or give me any tones because you just, you're totally guessing at it. But uh, I'm tickled it was not the CPU or the motherboard. So anyway, uh, you just watched me uh, do a, a PC repair. I'm going to button this all up and blow it out from a little bit and uh, send it on its way. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. It sure helps the channel grow and that's what I'd really like to do. Have a great day.